Hello everyone, this is Quentin. I'm working, I'm working on a little um, project where I wanted to see if I could leverage um, ServiceNow's AI agent technology in combination with uh, the workflow data fabric uh, capabilities of ServiceNow, specifically uh, the RPA technology called RPA Hub. Um, basically, we wanted to kind of merge or uh, link the, the new uh, with the old um, service now as the RPA technology to be able to uh, automate or grab data from legacy system uh, that don't have an API. Uh, so I'm going to show you an example. So I wanted to see uh, go to the next level of those uh, intelligent workflow where uh, we talk about uh, agentic AI, AI agent, or agentic workflow, uh, where I don't necessarily have to write the full end-to-end -end, uh, workflow in service now and script everything. I could leverage the agentic AI uh, to make decisions, follow some instruction, and orchestrate uh, tasks such as orchestrating tasks even when those tasks uh, are um, triggered uh, in uh, RPA. So that's kind of the use case I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, so here I'm showing a virtual machine uh, which has the RPA, um, an attended robot configured. So that machine is an, what we call an RPA robot. And that machine uh, has an uh, old legacy application here. This is kind of a dummy app just to, to simulate uh, maybe a more complex ERP system or CRM system, it could be a Java or .NET or web page, doesn't matter, but think about a process where you have some people doing a data entry or every day, or sometimes they get a request, even in service now, uh, to get more information about a PO number. Here it's about creating a PO, right? So I'm just gonna show you by hand. Company ABC, um, put a date. Um, just gonna put a bunch of data. and then uh, an amount, I'm just putting a purchase order information, right, uh, in in that app. Imagine any process where you have a human, an agent, who's gonna have to open a legacy system, uh, pass a bunch of information, retrieve data, and then copy paste that data somewhere else and continue with the process. Very repetitive and mundane. That's why we have RPA, RPA has been there for a very long time. Um, it's not going anywhere until we no longer have those legacy applications. But um, I was thinking, what if we want to still leverage um, the brand new uh, AI technology, like agentic AI, but and co combine this with uh, what I call the, the old, the, the RPA technology, uh, to really orchestrate those process end to end. So that's what, what I'm trying to do with my little experiment uh, here. I created an AI agent that can that is specialist in a specific uh, ERP ERP task. Um, I'm gonna use the word SAP, but I'm not using SAP at all. But a lot of our customers are using SAP, so you may see some SAP in there. But uh, my robot is automating that uh, little app that you've seen just to show the concept. Uh, so here uh, I do have a, an agentic workflow that I created here investigate and resolve purchase order request. I'm working out of the incident table. It's probably not the most appropriate table to use, but for demo, I think it was just good enough. Um, so I've created the agentic workflow when I put some specific instruction on how to tackle those tasks. And so here I'm just writing the instruction like I will teach or explain to a, you joiner in my team, hey, this is the task, you're gonna re get requests from email, from service now. This is how you need to deal with those requests. Um, so check if uh, there is, um, uh, get more information about the issue uh, and just go perform those, um, those simple tasks. It happens that just in that use case, the task uh, needs to be performed outside of service now. It needs to go in the ERP system, uh, create a purchase order, and bring that data back to the ticket, to the incident uh, ticket. That's kind of my example. 
for that task, uh, so for my agentic uh, workflow, I'm leveraging actually one of the out of the box uh, AI agent that was pre-configured in my demo instance. That out of the box AI agent has uh, already all the the instruction to go grab more detail about the incident, look up about existing knowledge uh, about this type of incident, looking for similar incident and how they were resolved. So very smart AI agent that has a lot of knowledge around how to resolve an incident. I'm using this uh, to grab uh, and understand what it is into the incident request and grab information before I uh, instruct uh, the next agent here uh, to uh, create the purchase order in the ERP. So if I open this one, this AI agent, I've put some description to explain what it is the role of that AI agent. So. Just saying, hey, you specialize in resolving SAP related incident. Um, there's a lot of blah blah uh, to put in there. <laughs> and I'm explaining his role. Um, right? His role, uh, we can extend the use case. Uh, let's say it's an ERP specialist, a SAP specialist. For now, I've just built the crea creating a purchase order in SAP. It could be retrieving information, deleting some data, all kind of tasks, but the framework will be basically the same. So yeah, I, I explain uh, what's needed uh, for this AI agent to perform the task, what it needs to do. So just really simple task, extract the information that you need from, from ServiceNow, from the incident, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then leverage a tool this agent has access to, to create that purchase order and retrieve the output. And then communicate to the agent, the um, support team, uh, the PO number and what we've done to resolve the problem. So in order for an AI agent to be able to um, leverage uh, RPA, I, I used a tool, right, in, in the AI agent configuration. So I went here. And uh, I've, I'm leveraging a subflow. And I think I'm going to dive into this. And then I'll do a demo of the whole process. So you can see there's a lot of tools available. So the beauty of AI agent on ServiceNow is you can leverage everything you've built already in ServiceNow as a tool for the AI agent to perform tasks, tasks in ServiceNow, tasks outside of ServiceNow. Um, me, because I'm using ServiceNow's RPA, I've built a subflow that's um, basically trigger a robot, a bot process, uh, and perform uh, the task uh, in that uh, machine. Uh, basically, um, my subflow is going to ask RPA to open the robot that I created, perform a bench of data entry from the information we got from the service now ticket. That's what is, do that's what is done. So if I, open, um, if, if I open the tool, you'll see that I've put a bench of um, is a description. AI, I said, hey, um, with the information you extracted, extracted from the ticket in previous step, basically, uh, trigger that subflow to create the purchase orders uh, in SAP. I'm explaining that uh, that subflow is triggering an RPA robot, and the output of the flow will return a status and a PO number. So I'm, ve I'm being very prescriptive. I'm trying in my prompt. Uh, so the the system, uh, the AI, uh, can understand how to use what uh, this task and what the outcome of this task. And here you can see this. This is a input I created in the subflow that I'm going to be showing to you. So the AI agent can pass values to that um, subflow. So let's. Uh, why don't we just open the subflow so I walk you through, and then uh, so you can, uh, this is really a dive into uh, my little experiment. So I like to show all the the screen. So here at the subflow with all the inputs I was just talking about. So this subflow is exposed to the AI agent technology of ServiceNow. So now any of your ServiceNow admin developer who are very good at building orchestration in ServiceNow, or well they can build they can build subset of flows, subflows and expose this from the AI agent so they can use this as a tool. Here what I'm doing is I'm getting the request data from the AI agent creating an RPA hub, a work item, meaning a task for the robot to, to process. And I'm asking the robot to start right away. Then I'm, I'm just 
looping uh, every five one second i'm just waiting for the robot to be done this i could design maybe in a more elegant way so uh, i pause and the robot is pushing a status to the flow and i continue but this is a quick poc uh, here i assign the subflow value uh, to the, the flow output so here it's going to be the po number coming back from the rpa robot and so as you've seen in the previous step, the AI agent can retrieve the output and display to the agent, update the PO number in the on the service node side in the ticket. So that's kind of what uh, we're trying to do here. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably run a quick demo and maybe show you how in RPA I, I've built the, the part that's gonna automate the screen, right? But why don't we just run it? So, yeah, simple request. As I said, I'm working out of the incident table. Uh, yeah, I could put a description that um, that just looked like a, it's a, an employee who's just requesting help. Is pu putting a bunch of uh, information in the request, and based on the trigger on my uh, agentic workflow or on my AI agent, based on the condition, um, the AI agent can pick up that request and try to help. Uh, so in that case, me, I'm just going to use the testing field of the AI agent. This is what you use to to test your um, agentic workflow or AI agent. So I'm going to use my agentic workflow. My agentic workflow is basically a set of instructions for a specific use case. And in combining a set of AI agent that are specialist uh, on performing specific tasks. Here it's simple, I'm just using two AI agents. One that's specialist in ITSM, the other one is specialist in performing tasks in ERP. All right, so I'm gonna find it here. Investigate and resolve PO request. Simple prompt, help me with. And then we see the reasoning and how the agentic workflow is trying to work on that task. So all the first step here, it's out of the box. Like by getting incident resolution, trying to get the detail of the incident, I've used an out of the box incident resolution AI agent. Um, and then the rest is just basically uh, the other AI agent. Uh, yeah, the, so see, uh, uh, first time I get this type of uh, message uh, because we're talking about agentic thing. I think I forgot to submit my uh, incident <laughs> so that's why you cannot find it so that's a good thing <clears throat> it's doing like live demo i'm not tweaking the demo right so i've submitted the ticket uh, it was not submitted so for for sure you could not get the i'm gonna say yes yes try again i, I forgot to save the, the request number the request so that's why it's not working so it's gonna probably let's see how it works actually if he is able to restart the process. Yeah, perfect, smart. See, that is a good example. For example, if that was just a normal workflow, traditional workflow, or if you don't have this, you have to program all that error handling. Yeah, I, I did nothing. It's just the AI doing his thing. Um, so it's going through the incident, ITSM incident resolution. Uh, again, this is out of the box. Um, performing a bunch of lookup in service now, looking for additional information. I'm really using this to get the detail of the incident. So I have it in the context of the AI agent. Now, the, because I didn't modify that, um, I didn't want to touch the out of the box um, ITSM incident resol resolver AI agent, was trying to offer me some additional next step. I could, I could copy this and, and provide better instruction for my specific use case. Uh, here you can see it's not really relevant for what I want to do. My user um, need help for submitting a PO in SAP. And he's just trying to help me, but that's not the best, but just that's my fault because the instruction for that AI agent are not very specific for my, um, for my use case. So you know what, I'm just gonna say, no, please proceed with creating the PO with 
the tool you have access to please and i'm gonna be polite because it doesn't matter so with that hopefully it's gonna um, realize because of my uh, prompt he is gonna understand that, oh um i he's asking me to create the ppo and i have access to a tool which is a subflow and a rpa to, to to do this so see is communic communicating with the other agent so you see those collaboration between agent see ai agents doing the work he's lazy he's got an rpa robot to perform the task this is his kind of me just for having fun i, I put this somewhere in the, um, in the configuration i need to proceed with the creation of uh, the po i didn't uh, configure that agent in uh, autonomous mode because i wanted to control uh, every single step so that's why I'm ask, he's asking me uh, if I could if he could go ahead I'm gonna say yes and now it's um, going outside and uh, trying to uh, basically triggering my subflow so if we go in my screen here oh it's very quick you saw briefly the unattended robot uh, splash screen and we wait like a few seconds and it should open automatically the UI. This is the kind of me simulating its SAP. It's not, see the number, PO number submitting here, 979. Uh, so the robot has performed the data entry and it's gonna say, oh, look, I'm done. It was confirmed successfully. So this may sound like an easy use case, but in that demonstration, you see, the combined technology of AI agent plus workflow data fabric, where we're using like very legacy application that old school, you know, a form that you've seen. Uh, and we're using RPA, the service no RPA technology to automate that, but we can leverage this as a tool from service no's agentic AI workflow or AI agent. And you can see here that I don't have to create a complex service now flow and even flow designer. Um, all those tasks are orchestrated by the AI agent and leveraging the instruction given to them. Uh, so I configured uh, some of the um, uh, AI agent piece here with my own instruction, somewhere out of the box AI agent instruction because it is, there is very common task that um, we know of, about like getting detail of a ticket, uh, finding for relevant information in the knowledge article and things like that. So this is a very good to reuse in a lot of use cases, but this is an AI agent I created from scratch. So you can see how to retrieve data from uh, ServiceNow using the RPA technology and uh, that RPA technology, uh, our AI agent uh, capability has access to it. And this is just a very like, um, small demo, but that sh I think shows uh, the two technology combined and uh, give you an example of uh, use cases and hopefully that gets you thinking of potential uh, use cases that you can achieve with uh, ServiceNode Data Fabric and the AI.